So Scott, tell us a little bit more about what StockX is and how it stands apart from GOAT and some of these other resale options that have now proliferated out there. Our aspirations are simply to be a global e-commerce marketplace for consumers of current culture. And when you look at the categories of products that we trade today, yes, we started in sneakers, but we've expanded so rapidly into other categories, including apparel, electronics, collectibles. And what you're seeing is this next generation of consumers is looking at some of these consumer products as actual assets that are worthwhile of an investment opportunity and a consumption opportunity. And it's driving rapid growth of the industry for this set of consumers. Now, scarcity is such an interesting part and tactic of, of, of the fashion industry that I still don't quite understand. But I'm curious how beholden you are to the whims of a Nike or an Adidas when they get to decide how many sneakers of a certain kind they're putting out there. And they could also just suddenly decide to make a certain product a little less scarce. Well, the objective of any brand is to create consumer awareness and to drive brand value or heat in the category. And what you're seeing is a strategy that's being deployed by multiple brands across all industries, which is leveraging scarcity collaborations to create unique product that's scarce value, but consumers are clamoring for. The consumer sees it on the feet of the athlete worn by an influencer and wants access to that product. It drives traffic to the brand, but yet that consumer typically can't get that product in any of these traditional channels. And so they're going to a platform like StockX for access transparently to these products, and they want authentic products as well. And so what we're offering to that consumer is access to things that are being released by great brands, but are typically not accessible to that same consumer. So since you're looking at the future of culture, where do you think uh, streetwear and sneakers are going as we come out of a pandemic and some of us might want to flash our kicks a little more than we've gotten to in the last year? Well, leave it to this next generation to come up with unique ideas and opportunities. We've always thought that this platform was going to expand beyond uh, just the buying and consuming of products to ultimately these assets trading like commodities, much like the oil markets or the future markets. Today, you can invest in sneakers or electronics or apparel as an asset class. And so the idea that you could provide an index or a derivative or a contract or an NFT associated with even a digital product related to a physical good is all the rage today. And it's certainly exciting for this next generation consumer. But again, it speaks to this trend of a different way of consuming and even potentially investing for this generation. Now, Scott, I interviewed you several times in your former role at the New York Stock Exchange. Of course, now there are reports of, of StockX considering to go public. What can you tell us about your plans to go public and any plans to accept cryptocurrency as a form of payment? Oh, man, I've gotten that question so many times, but you'll remember in all of our... <laughs> conversations before I, at the New York Stock Exchange, there's often hundreds of companies that were preparing or going public. And you know, for us, no different than them, it's, it's really the execution of our strategy, which is really expanding our platform around the world, expanding into other categories, and being able to execute and operate on that business plan opens up um, opportunities for a public IPO at some point. But executing on that business plan is an ante to all of those additional opportunities. And so this financing that we're announcing today is simply a step in that direction. Uh, we've got a great shareholder list today that includes both public and private investors, some of the leading investors in the world. And it's part of our strategy of okay. also building a set of partners for the business for the future. 15 seconds, Scott, accepting crypto, yes or no? Oh, absolutely. You know, with, with, with PayPal, um, including that as a form of payment and as our uh, consumers demand that opportunity to transact in other currencies and other platforms, uh, we, of course, are looking at that, bring it onto the platform.